Age 22, you're one of the older guys here. Does it feel that way, as young as you are? I would say that. Uh, I feel old. I'm turning 23, so I'm not young anymore, especially when, like, the guys like William and, yeah, now even Jesper Lindgren mm -hmm. is, like, born in 87, so I feel really old. I do. How good was last year for you, finally coming to North America after playing three years of pro hockey over in Sweden? No, I think it was, a, like, a really good year, like, if you think about the learning process. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, of course, I played three years pro, uh, different levels, but uh, yeah, coming over, it's, it's something new, like the, the game is different, so it was a really good year. Gap control different over here compared to the game in Europe, given the different sizes of the rink, Victor? Yeah, like it's, it's, a, it's harder to like uh, control the gap because it's a lot faster here, mm -hmm. so, so if you're on your heels, it's really hard when the, when the forwards comes really fast. You had a chance to score some goals, and you've always been an offensive defenseman, but to score six in the American Hockey League, what were you able to do that was able to get the puck through, whether it be lateral ability, finding that shooting lane? Lucky bounces and open nets. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the only reason why I scored six goals. No, but uh, of course, uh, you have to shoot a lot of pucks. It, the, sometimes you doesn't have uh, too many options, and sometimes the only thing you can do is shoot. So that's why I try to think, like shoot it, shoot the puck, yeah, against the net, and hopefully someone can tip it or it goes straight in. You and you had, a, yeah, you had a chance to play a little bit with T.J. Brennan as well. Do you learn from somebody like that? Yeah, but I, I think it's gonna be hard for me to play like him because he, he's so skilled with his stick and uh, yeah, and his shot is terrific. So yeah, of course it's fun to watch, but yeah, you can see his, like how he moves and stuff, but. I'm not going to be like him, never. I will not. Mentioned to Renat uh, in a conversation, uh, the fact that Gord Deneen comes back, uh, how, how important is that for you guys playing on the blue line? I think it's good. Like, he, kn he knows us. He knows what we need to, like, mm -hmm. uh, develop. No, how do you say? Develop. Develop. Yeah. That's, a, that's the word, how to de uh, develop. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, he knows us, and, and he got a lot of experience. I heard from Petter, like, Last year he was uh, the head coach, so he was like in charge of everything. Now it can maybe focus a little bit more, yeah, with the D's now. Mm -hmm. So I think that's going to be good. More so, time for us. And so many good Swedish players talking to Andreas Janssen. I guess he's going back to Fralunda for one year. You guys work on him at all to get the Swedish embassy at Rico Coliseum a little bit bigger this year maybe? One more time, please. What did you say? We need another Swede in this uh, Toronto Marley Hockey Club. No, I think we're good. <laughs> no, no, of course. Like, but but I think it's important like that you feel ready when you when you want to come over. And um, I, I think you, I don't know yet, but I, uh, what I've heard is he's going back, and maybe he needs that. Maybe get one more year, a little bit more safe, being back home, and then take the next step next year. I don't know. Well said. And now you get ready for a second rookie tournament in September and a second Maple Leaf camp. Things a lot different now, 12 months later for you that you've had a chance to, to get all of this in. Yeah, I would say that too. Like now I'm, yeah, yeah I know all the, most of the guys in the, in the team and uh, most of the guys around the team. So I'm not, I'm not as nervous and then I know how, how everything works. So I, I think I'm going to be well prepared.